Now, when it comes to the recently renewed and ongoing push for Palestinian reunification, we've heard lots of opinions coming from almost every involved party, except Europe. Well, joining me now is the Austrian ambassador to Israel, Ambassador Martin Weiss, who is here to help us see the reunification talks from his perspective. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. So let's begin with the big, obvious question first. What does Europe think of Fatah and Hamas uniting? Well, I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, so even the talk about reconciliation. I mean, at this point in time, what is happening is that there is a try to get the Palestinian Authority back into Gaza. The, our government has visited there, they have seen their ministries. So these are first, if you will, baby steps, which is a good thing. And that's what Europe thinks, it's a good thing. But a full reconciliation, I think, is still far away. Right. Um, what about Austria specifically? What does Austria feel about this? Well, Austria is uh, in lockstep with the European Union on, mm -hmm. on this uh, whole story. Okay. And we have all seen, uh, just remember last summer, I mean, the humanitarian situation in Gaza is terrible. Uh, many people talked about a possible war just because of the lack of electricity, the dire humanitarian yeah. needs. So there we were at the brink of war. Things have moved on. That's a good thing. Now, what happens to all the international deals between the, the PA and, and European countries? when and if, obviously, Hamas joins the mix? Well, as I say, I think let's take it easy now. Okay. For now, bringing the Palestinian Authority back into Gaza, if that were to work, that's a good first step. Mm -hmm. But I think if we get ahead of ourselves and talk about what if there were a unified government, yeah, what if? There are so many what ifs in the Middle East. Well, let's do what we have right now. That, that's mm -hmm. fair. Does Austria consider Hamas a terrorist organization? Yes, we consider it a terrorist organization. But for now, what we've seen with, with this situation, there's possibly the chance to increase the flow of electricity into Gaza. Now, that's a good thing. There's possibly a, a, the possibility of bringing more Palestinian authority, authority back into Gaza. That's a good thing. And one thing we haven't mentioned yet, mm -hmm. we've seen Egypt come back as an important regional player, which we think is a very good thing. Well, what would it take for Hamas to be redesignated, to, to get rid of that designation as a terrorist organization, at least in the EU's eyes? Well, for now, we see that at least they make some movements to come closer to the PA, to let the PA come back, to pull back from the, from the border controls. This is what we are seeing right now. All of this goes into the right direction. But I think you, you run the risk of destroying anything that might possibly happen now if you talk about the end game. It's mm -hmm. like if when you talk about uh, a peace deal in the Middle East and you start with Jerusalem. I, I don't think this is one, how you want to start that. Sure. Now, you know, let's talk a little bit about Austrian and Israeli relations mm -hmm. today. What are, what are Austria's interests, um, especially when it comes to the West Bank? Well, Austria's interests in the region are to have a strong relationship with Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, we've celebrated 60 years anniversary last year. We have a lot of uh, economic ties. Israel is the startup nation. That f to us, that's very important. Um, and of course, in the West Bank, as in Gaza, for example, we have some uh, development aid projects, which we think are very important because, like I mentioned, a humanitarian crisis is never a good thing, not right. for anybody living in the region. And, I mean, Israel going back to to this emerging government in the Palestinian Authority has announced several times um, that it would not support a unified Palestine if the emerging government was intent on destroying Israel. And I'm assuming that Austria is on board yes. with that. Uh, that of course. I mean, this, this goes without saying. Right. But again, I think if, if uh, it wouldn't make sense to talk, talk about the conditions of an end game when right. you're at the baby steps of, of, of something that's beginning right now. Mm. So here's, I guess, our final question, because unfortunately we are running out of time. <laughs> what would you say is kind of the biggest news when it comes to uh, Austrian-Israeli relations right now? What, are there any big projects that both governments are, are working on together? You mentioned the startup nation. Well, the, I think the big news is that we have, during the past years, grown much, much closer together. The interest is growing yeah. on both sides. And that is true for the young, as well as for the, for the business sector, as well for culture. So I see a lot of flowers uh, blossom, and I think that's beautiful for me as an ambassador. That's great. Absolutely. Well, we are very happy to have you here. Thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us. Ambassador Martin Weiss. Thank you.